story about a woman who said she survived a violent kidnapping at the hands of her boyfriend. That's right. We've got our Corey Pippen working the details. It's not fair to me that my life has to stop. I can't be with my kids. I can't be with my family. I can't tell anybody where I'm at. He gets a slap on the wrist. You can still see the bruises on Samantha Green's face three days after she says she was held captive and beaten repeatedly by 30-year-old Anthony Weaver. Green says she was driving with Weaver, her boyfriend of four and a half months, around 10 at night in Satsuma when he accused her of cheating. That's when she says things turned violent. I'm saying, let me out, let me out. He went crazy. He was driving my car and he snatched me by my hair. My head back and started hitting me. And I was still telling him I'm not lying. Over the next day and a half, Green says she was driven around to different locations in Satsuma and Mount Vernon, sometimes with a hood over her face. She says Weaver threatened to hurt her more if she told anyone she was in danger. He'd make me call my mom or my stepmom from a block number and tell them I was okay. And I kept trying to give him hints without him knowing. She never leaves her kids, never leaves her kids. I knew my child was in danger. I know she's in danger now. Tanya Whittington, Green's mother, says she just hopes something's done. There was a manhunt. It's been on Channel 10 News. And then he turned himself in yesterday, and in just a matter of hours, he's out. I don't understand that. We've been told the Mobile County District Attorney's Office hasn't received the case yet, and it usually takes about a week for that to happen. And we'll